Sagittarius, hi. Welcome to your reading for this week. These are YouTube general readings. They won't always resonate with you. Feel free to reach out for a personal read that will resonate with you. My email is in the description below. Um, just send me your time zone and your name and I'll reply back to you with appointment dates and all the information that you need for a private reading. Um, but yeah. I feel like I got a rip shuffle for you again. Okay, so let's do it again. Just feel like I got a... These cards are so big. All right. Yeah, these cards are a little bit big. I'd love this deck if it was just a tad bit smaller. But because they're big, they kind of look good on camera too. Now let's see what's going on with the Sag. Seven of Coins, the Page of Coins, Queen of Cups. She keeps coming out in everyone's read. There's a lot of emotions when... When Venus leaves Scorpio, folks, especially with this transit, because uh, Mars is having an aspect on her, Sag, um, it, it hasn't been the best. You got Knight of Wands here upside down. Somebody that was chasing you stopped chasing you here. And that's kind of popped off some sort of tower moment here for you. Why, though? Like, you didn't want them to chase you to begin with here. Seven of Coins is in your general energy here. Um, a lot of work, no results. On what? What are you working on? I feel like whatever you were trying to get away from here, now your mind's kind of putting you in this place of like, wait a minute. Knight of Coins here showing up with a message for you. In the past, I feel it's connected with this Ace of Cups. What's challenging here, though, is that Maybe you weren't trying to give messages back or you weren't actually trying to connect out. Why you're here is Queen of Cups. You have a whole lot of emotions for something, but I feel like your mind's taking you different places. There's a whole lot of emotions here. There's a lot of water for a Sag read, but let's go with it. And I, I, I really do feel like this is... This was Venus transiting through Scorpio for you, the, your 12th house specifically of losses. You may be feeling that. You may be feeling a loss now. The fool here is your strength going towards new things. That's been your strength for a while, but I feel like how long can you keep that up, moving towards new things? Because it, it's always kind of a gamble. And, you know, I'm not clarifying what this fool is, but I'm not getting the best vibes from it. Because when you're in that constant state of going towards new things, going towards new things... You know, the universe is going to kind of cause this tower moment for you to kind of get shooken up and then start to look at things that are stable here. And we'll give you some sort of end result with the Ten of Wands. Um, Knight of Cups here in the future. Um, could this be you going back to somebody? Or, you know, I haven't done a read like this in a while for anybody. I haven't done it for any of the Zodiac signs tonight. But could, this could be somebody coming back for a second replay. Or I do feel like this is connected to that one cup in the past. It is the same cup he's holding here with the Ace of Cups. What is this? What is this mess? Because it's like you want this and you don't. And now we have the Knight of Wands upside down being hidden in the energies. Ay, ay, ay. This is kind of like a back and forth of what's going on here. Like, what is this? Like, do you want this or not? Like, do you think about whatever this is, whatever this was? Do you think about it in the aspect of it was a nightmare? Or do you think about it in the aspect of, yeah, it was a nightmare, but I think... There's opportunity for growth in whatever this is. Somebody's not putting effort into any situation. Right now, I see if that were to do this, you're the only sign I'm doing this for tonight. I'm not looking at what the other person is doing in any of these reads. But you're going to you're gonna have to be that sign tonight that pulls me to do break my own rule. 
and says, what's this side doing and what's your side doing? Well, your side is showing me there's a whole lot of emotion, not a whole lot of action or creating anything other than you want to try new things here. Now, on their side, you're showing me that they stop moving towards you because you keep shooting them down with the tower there. And actually, I'm a card short here on your Celtic. Let me pull the last ending result here. Yeah, I knew that's what it was. Walking away from past things here is the end result. I didn't even realize I was a card short. There it is. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is leaving the past in the past. Or it's realizing you got to pick those two cups up and fill them back up. And if this reconnection is what you want now that you've pushed this thing away. Because you said I didn't want you. This could be them. I don't know. You, you could cross the energies, but I feel like this is you pushing things away, and then now they're not coming your way because you've obviously shut them down. And here they are. They're showing up saying, hey, look, you shut me down. I don't want the Sag. Because well, you want your independence? You want to you wanna go? I, I understand that. Venus going into Sag, you're probably going to want a lot of independence, and that's going to be in your first house. I understand that. But like I said, my job as a tarot card reader is to kind of give you the pitfalls of that feeling. And the pitfall is the tower moment here. The pitfall is that, yeah, you're going towards newer things, newer things. But when you do that, you don't realize that you're kind of like beating up on yourself here with new things and new things. Because the new things keep showing you disappointment when the past thing, although it may have given you some sort of disappointment, is showing you that there's chance for growth here. You may have a history with this Knight of Cups. You may have a long history with this Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups just kind of given up because you've kind of crushed their heart here. I'm pretty sure their side's not innocent either. I'm pretty sure their side crushed your heart. But they may have shown up with apologies here. And I am not doing the whole they are coming back your way thing. They are not. If you shut this thing down, they are definitely come not coming back your way. But there was there was that opportunity and that's been shut down here. And you're showing me in the future energies. God, I wish I took that. You might end up in another relationship and you'll be thinking about this past thing still. Why? Do you have Jupiter in Swati? <laughs> or, or if you're male, do you have Venus in Swati? And maybe, maybe, and maybe that's it. And maybe that was the karma served. Okay, great. Maybe that's going back to the read last week. You're just going through with the karmas. I do remember your read last week. I believe it was going through karmas without fear. But are you doing that without the emotion here of the Queen of Cups? Okay? So just be aware of that. I'm going to give it to you straight. Five of Wands touched. I'll leave the Five of Wands up here. We'll put it up there. I don't know. I feel called to take these three too. Hierophant, Three of Cups, Five of Swords. Right. When I talked about stability, remember? The things that are not stable, there's actually something here. But Three of Cups here is like you, you're not seeing that. You want your liberation. You want to go out, have a good time with the boys or the girls. Five of Swords. Here comes conflicts, conflicts, internal conflicts with inside of you. Not with your friends. Maybe from an exterior source of things not connecting. And then finally the past thing that was trying to connect and connect and connect. There it is. There's the five and the five. A lot of conflicts with inside of you. You may have to be the one that reaches out to this energy now because they are certainly showing me that they've been shut down enough and they've been hurt enough. But of course, like I said, they're not innocent either. They, they at one point hurt you too. And I just saw the magician when I flipped the deck on upside down and the underside of my deck talks the most shit. And it's the magician. They were manifesting you and they stopped. Now you're going to be in that space of trying to manifest this back maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what that was. But under the side of the deck talks a lot of trash. 
And uh, that's all I got for you, Saj. Take it easy. See you guys again next week. Bye.